What is that moving in the background there? Kaliki, what is that? Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh my god, Kaliki? Really? Like that? Have you been to California? Seen the sights and people there? Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Grace. And we're, well, first we got Kaliki here. Now we are to California. California Travel Videos. And here we go again. We're off on another trip. This time we are heading down south. About three hours south, and Grace, where are we going today? We are going towards the Santa Cruz Mountains to a state park called the Henry Cow, uh, towards the Redwoods. Yeah, in Felton, as a matter of fact, and um, it's a nice state park, or so we hear, up in the Redwoods, and so we're going to have a couple days there going off, maybe seeing the beach, maybe not. Our time is going to be a little limited on this trip, but um, we're going to frolic around into the woods and see some more trails, I hope, so do you have any highlights you'd like to do, honey? Um, I think probably just, you know, enjoy being surrounded, the joy of discovery, um, being surrounded by the beauty of nature. I love it. That's what we're going to do, is be a nature boy and nature girl. I'm going to say, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Good. Down. I want you down. Like, you down. Come on. Down. Uh, see, he's down. good. Cosmo. Down. I would love Stay. for Cosmo to be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot of respect before they start to do these stuff. Respect Cosmo's got for me. You stay, Kaliki. Stay. Yeah, you trust me pretty much. I'll bring, I'll bring him on the outside. Okay. Good. It's a good signal when you can like say, okay, the master can do this. Yeah, he's a little intimidated, I think. Well, you know, this guy's big and heavy, so I can see why that would be. But here, like, but this is really good. Thank you for letting me do well, this. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah, it's like his tail is starting to shag a little bit, should I let me give me signals if I should back on? <laughs> so far, so good. Well, okay, we were going to go to spot number 70, but, um, well, there were some trees, and since um, our RV is over 10 feet tall, I was afraid, yeah, I just don't know. We don't want to lose the paint, so we went for double nickels. Yes, this is Grace Magic Number. And speaking of which, Grace. Hi. Hi, how did it go there? Did you get to the uh, park ranger and change it from 70 to 55? I only had one task, huh? One task, one uh, task. One, one thing. task was to take Kaliki for a walk, maybe? I did, I took Kaliki for a walk and we went around the loop de loop <laughs> And you did loop de loop And we loop de looped and... So how was your mission? Well, basically, I'm right back where I started from. Oh, okay. But it's been a good walk. So, okay, well, uh, you weren't lost, you were just perplexed. So anyway, we got a good spot here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So um, here we are, and um, I did get leveling jacks while my honey was going on her little promenade. So I've um, got some leveling blocks up there, and um, I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good spot. Uh, looks like we got fairly secluded, and I can see that there is a path over there if we want to go to hither and yon, such as L restroom and not use um, our own facilities. Okay, so let's go back and um, start doing our thing. I guess I better go back and get that number 55 reserve before somebody else says, well, that's mine. In fact, what if somebody actually had reserve on 55? Well, we'll find another if we need to. Um, not like we can take like that one fellow's, what was it, 76 or whatever? So no, if somebody has it, we can't say, sorry, finders keepers. So anyway, I'll go in and check it out and we'll catch you in a little bit. Well, so here we are at the Double Nichols Campground site 55, Stay Alive. And how do you feel about this? I'm quite happy with where we're at. You I liking love it? it? Of course, it's meant to be. It, I mean, it's like a celebration, an ongoing 
retirement at 55. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. To that. Wow. You know what that means. <laughs> paper bag, paper, paper bag. bag, plastic bag, plastic, plastic bag. Okay, Kalika, we're gonna have to clean up after you. Well, okay, well, we are here at the Powder Mill Road, and we're gonna go on the, I guess, I think it's a, yeah, Powder Mill Trail, one mile. And um, so it looks like bikes are fine where we're going. So, Honey Bunny, are you ready? Almost. Got a little. We got a little job to do, a little errand? Okay. Good morning. Hey, stay here. Good boy. Howdy. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Honey child, guess I'm what? Chimping. You see what I see? That's so pretty. Look over your right shoulder there. I think we in the redwoods. You know, it's kind of funny because I actually did see that, but I just wasn't really aware that, yeah, that's what had changed. We just hit the redwoods, yeah. Nice. Okay, Henry Cowell and um, father, Right? That you did good. I you. Wish I had my wife. <sighs> what we do for our pictures. <laughs> yes, isn't that right? <laughs> Yet another lens would be nice. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, where are we at here? Coming to a junction. And this is. Okay, Powder Mill Trail. Oh, to Graham. So, nope, no dogs on that one. And that's the way we came. So. I guess maybe we go up a little further here. Let's see what happens. Okay, go ahead. This way. Good boy. Come. Looks like there's a perimeter there. It shows no horses that way. Hmm, okay. Um, it could be somebody's riding a dog, but it showed a person on a big dog. It must have oh. been <laughs> no um, Newfoundland dogs. Oh, look at this. It says mountain lions. Are they allowed on these trails? Huh. Okay, it says Buckeye Trail. No dogs. I guess because that's mountain lions are on that one, right? And then pipeline, yes. And sure enough, puppies are allowed. The nature center is 2.4 miles. Keep the weight. Good one. What's the sign on the It says, if you lost a stroller at this trailhead, Call my cell phone, and it's got the ranger number. That's night. Nice. Mountain lions are important members of the natural community, and may be found this area. I can't help but laugh. Are they allowed on this trail? Why can't dogs? I know. Although <laughs> these animals are seldom seen, they are unpredictable. They may not stay on their own trail, and have been known to attack without warning. If you get on their trail, I'm sure. Keep children close, <laughs> especially your most loved one. Put them closest. <laughs> uh, as mountain lions seem to especially be drawn to them, or that mean they're tasty, or what the hell does that mean? Avoid hiking alone. Make plenty of noise while you hike so as to reduce the chances of them not finding the ranger and said they'll find you. <laughs> so now You'll be we the have sacrifice. A decision to make. What's that? Do we go the way of the Bobcats? No, we can't. No. But they've been told not to come on ours, right? Correct. Okay. So they know. So if they stay on their trail, we stay on ours, and Nary the Twain shall meet. So basically, we can go that way, mm -hmm. or we can go that way. Yes. Of course, people do go both ways. <laughs> you seem to be twisted up. I think mountain lions would come after you. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. So that way is the Nature Center, 2.4 miles. That's this where we're heading. This way is Graham Hill Road, 0 0.8. Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember how to get back? No. Okay. And then we look for the stroller. So, so we, <laughs> we go, call the ranger's so number, right? So we go 2.8 and then come back 2.8 and then um, go back what we've already walked. It'll all be good.
See you now. Do you know what the best camera is? I do. Chase Jarvis. I know, I know. Chase Jarvis. Do you know? The best camera. The one you have the with you. The one you have with you. This is a Chase Jarvis thing. He wrote a book on it. The best camera is the one you have with you. Oh, this is so spectacular. True. See, babe? This is all I ever wanted. Yeah, this um, sunset behind us, honey. <sighs> Look at this right now. I mean, I don't have, if I had my HDR camera, this would be so spectacular, but, um, mm -hmm. you see it through the clouds, my love? As in squaw mode. Okay. <laughs> Look at right here. Oh. You might get a little bit of it. Oh, I get it, my dear. Remember, you can use automatic exposure bracketing. Oh, you did perfect. Yeah, it got wonderful silhouette. You forgot to every time of these things. Look at these clouds here, too. I know, I was loving those clouds. They're incredibly beautiful. I love the light and the colors and the layers and the composition of the sky. Sleepy sea towns tasted salty ocean air.